Hi, you're watching At The Bench with Norgen Biotech. Today, we will be demonstrating the automated step-by-step -step workflow for the Saliva DNA Isolation 96 Well Magnetic Bead System Kit, catalog number RU62900. This kit yields high-quality DNA for sensitive downstream applications, including PCR, qPCR, sequencing, and microarray. To collect saliva samples that will be used in this procedure, consider Norgen's Saliva DNA Collection and Preservation Tubes, catalog number RU49000, which is fully compatible with this kit. Upon opening the kit, you will find a detailed product insert, two 96 well plates, two 96 well elution plates, adhesive tape, two bottles of Lysis Buffer F, elution buffer B, magnetic bead suspension, and protonase K in storage buffer. And you as the user will need to provide 70% ethanol, 96 to 100% ethanol, and microcentrifuge tubes. Load all of the buffers into Hamilton's supplied reagent containers and load in the positions indicated in the deck setup. Load the samples onto the Hamilton Vantage in the location indicated on the deck setup for samples. 500 microliters of each preserved sample is aliquoted into the sample plate. Then 20 microliters of protonase K is added. The sample plate is transferred to the heater shaker and vortexed at 55 degrees Celsius for one hour. The magnetic bead suspension is pre-mixed to ensure homogeneity, and then 20 microliters is aliquoted into each sample. Nine hundred microliters of ninety six to one hundred percent ethanol is added to each sample in the sample plate. The sample plate is then transferred to the heater shaker and vortexed for ten minutes at room temperature. The sample plate is transferred to the magnet and waits for two minutes for the magnetic beads to form a pellet. The supernatant is removed from the sample plate without disturbing the magnetic bead pellet and deposited into the gravity waste. The sample plate is then transferred back to the original position and 500 microliters of 70% ethanol is added to each sample. The sample plate is transferred to the heater shaker and vortex to mix for one minute. The sample plate is transferred to the magnet and waits for two minutes to pellet the magnetic beads. The ethanol is removed from the samples and deposited into the gravity waste. The previous four steps are repeated for a total of two ethanol washes. The sample plate is transferred to the heater shaker and incubated at 65 degrees Celsius for five minutes to evaporate excess ethanol. After incubation, 75 microliters of elution buffer B is aliquoted into each sample well. The sample plate is then vortexed to mix at 65 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes. The sample plate is placed onto the magnet for two minutes. The supernatant is aspirated from the sample plate and dispensed into the final elution plate. The purified DNA in the elution plate can now be removed from the Hamilton Vantage and be used for downstream analysis. Purified DNA should be stored at negative 20 degrees Celsius after isolation is complete. DNA that has been purified using this method can be used in PCR, 
qPCR, southern blot analysis, sequencing, metagenomics, microarrays, and more. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like this, please like and subscribe to our channel. And remember to follow us on all of your favorite social media platforms. See you next time at the bench.